Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail call time all the way from the US of A and I've actually been waiting for this package for almost a year. Well, half and half. I will explain it to you guys as we open up this package so let's go ahead and check it out. So here we have it, two items from Matt Lawson aka MJL Blade Works over on Instagram and the reason why it took a year is because I actually commissioned him to do some custom work on this here and then hold it until he was done with custom work on this because this was actually a later order. So the combined waiting time was about a year which should not have taken that long but you know he had some personal stuff to clear, some backlog and everything. But anyway, all of that aside, let's check out what I got from MJL Blade Works. Well not exactly what I got from him but custom work that I got done by him. So first all off is a kiba everyone and this is just uh yep some paper towels it is a kiba a standard kiba but i requested for his trademark rock fate style pattern on it so let's check it out it is a titanium kiba and yeah if you guys want you can use this coupon code because i don't even know if it's valid anymore it's been a year and it's been so long look even the case is already rusted pretty badly here in this corner so let's uh check this out we got all the extra accessories here and an instruction manual by kiba i'm just gonna get rid of this case because yeah it's rusted pretty bad look at that and this is the feels like the back half of the key bar here we go oh wow wowza wowza <laughs> look at that wow okay this is awesome man this is exactly what i asked him for i said i wanted his rock fade pattern so you guys can see the rock texturing here and it fades towards the back of the key bar and then i also wanted it slightly darkened let me compare it to another titanium item and this is titanium scales by wilkins knives and this is a bench made mini griptilian scale and you can see that this one is darker than this titanium over here so that's exactly what i wanted very very well done the pocket clip though doesn't have the same kind of finish as on the key bar itself you could see that it's been darkened a little bit but yeah i mean this part is going to get dinged up a lot the way i use my key bars this is going to get dinged up but anyway yes this is the 3d milled clip by key bar i don't know if they still sell this but i also requested for the rock fade pattern to be done here so that's that's really awesome so let's check out the other half bing bang boom save the best for last yes i requested for these holes over here and there was a slight hiccup but that was my fault because initially i was asking him to do just parallel holes over here and he told me that through his experience and customer feedback that the parallel holes would actually make the entire structure of the key bar a little bit weaker so i asked him if smaller parallel holes would be better but i didn't really make myself clear so anyway he ended up doing this and i'm not complaining this is actually pretty awesome i initially asked for three holes but he did five look at that this is just cool it is also of the rock fade pattern the rock texture goes up till about the midpoint and when the holes start is where the rock texture fades away Ugh, this is awesome okay so this is well worth the wait i know it was done actually much earlier it was done within three months uh when i got my name on his books so I can't complain. Basically, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description box down below to his Instagram account. That's where he basically lies us with people. Uh, his books are open only in certain slots of time because it heavily depends on his workload. You know, life comes first and this is just a hobby for him. I actually ordered this uh, titanium Kiba straight from Kiba and then got them to send it over to him. And it looks like this is rusting a little bit. Hmm. I gotta clean this up. Yep, I have to clean it up. Yeah, it sucks, but I bet it's been storage for almost a year, so that's why. Next, guys, this one has only been recently completed. And this, can you guys tell yet what it is? It is a Boca Plus Mini Quaken. And if you guys notice, there is no slot for a lanyard hole and that's because he actually performed the stubby mod so yes he made it shorter but the custom work doesn't stop here it is also featuring his trademark rock fade pattern on both sides of the scales and surprise surprise check this out oh wow that was actually my first time deploying the knife but i've got a tanto mod done on it as well so it's a stubby tanto mod for a bokeh plus mini quaken i actually saw him posting some pictures of custom work on the quakens and at the point of time i was looking to get myself a quaken anyway and uh, my kiwa was almost done so i reached out to him and i said hey would you by any chance be able to give me more information and then he said that his books were closed so i was like well that's fine we'll just finish up the kiwa and i'll get that from you but a few days later he actually hit me up and said that someone pulled out and apparently the knife was in his possession so i was like okay uh, i'll take the slot if you don't mind so i actually paid for that knife as well and i got all this custom work done and this whole thing i believe was about 300 us all in so the knife and the custom work basically it is a liner lock and uh he disassembled everything did all the custom work and put everything back and you guys can see that the blade centering is pretty damn awesome look at that that's 
very well centered in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, look, deployment is great. No problem at all. And very, very smooth. Definitely not drop shotty because the blade itself is actually pretty light, but very, very, very smooth. All right, awesome work, Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. This is, this is beyond what I imagined. This is cool. I love the fact that the scales are darker than the liners itself, so it gives it a very cool two-tone effect. And then these two are also raw to match the liners. And it feels like the liners are actually kind of media blasted or bead blasted in a way. Yeah, they are, I think. It's a very, very light bead blasting. For the blade itself, it's been reprofiled and reground, of course. You guys can see the nice tanto edge here. Very, very beautiful polished edge, or I should say satin edge. I don't know what kind of edge this is, but then here on the flats or the grind itself, it is a, I believe this is a hollow grind. Yep, this is a hollow grind up here and everything has been brushed. Even the flats up here are brushed and it's got a nice swedge here as well. Symmetry on the swedge is pretty awesome. From my understanding, there wasn't a swedge on the original blade. So all in all, I think really, really good work by MJL Blade Books. If you guys have any custom work that you want done on scales or reprofiling of a blade, do consider him. Uh, it takes a little while, I gotta be honest with you guys, it took way longer than I expected, but that is something that you'd have to be able to understand and accept before you actually start any custom work. Unlike some makers who actually take payment after, but you know, it's his own business model and I'm not faulting him for anything. I just like this thing, it looks really, really cool. The only downside to doing this stubby mod is the fact that you don't have a lanyard slot. So if you guys are fans of a lanyard slot or you really need to have a lanyard slot, or in fact, a pocket clip, because you know, there isn't one, then this is not the knife or the mod for you. For me, this is something like more of a gentleman's carry, in my opinion, just something that I could slip into my pocket, you know, uh, without a clip. And I think that's really, really cool. The main thing that I noticed when I was looking at the blade centering is that the tip of the blade is actually quite close to the end here. So, yeah, you see right there, I've actually snagged my own finger. See that? Yep. So that's something that you have to take note of. But apart from that, I think this is very, very well done. The proportions is actually honestly pretty good. The blade to handle ratio here, because it is a tanto, is, uh, you know, actually really really well done look at that that's some crazy proportions there yeah man i mean this thing is such such a joy to deploy it's it's got strong enough detent but then again you don't really need the pocket clip to grip on because sometimes you know you need to grip on the pocket clip to deploy a knife and you also don't have to really jam it into the palm of your hand and with this clearance over here even if you do that and the shape like that it's fine if you want to rest it against the heel of your palm and then deploy it this way but uh you could just hold it like that and deploy it without any problems as i end off this video i thought that i would share with you guys a little bit more information about the differences between this and a mini quaken or quaken i'm just gonna call it quaken because that's how i say it but i know a lot of people call it the quaken so i'm looking at blade hq's website and i'm actually looking at the specs of the mini quaken but there are two mini quaken versions one is a vg10 version that actually features a three inch blade length and the other mini quaken yeah it's both categorized as mini quakens uh, the other one actually features D2 steel and is a 3.125 blade length. So I'm not so sure which is which, but let's just take the 3 inch one and I'm going to assume that this is the VG10 version, not the D2 version. However, the handle length on both the Mini Quikens are stated at 4 and a quarter inches. So let's just see how different this is from that. So I've got my ruler here and it seems that it's been shortened to about, wow. Two and a half inches, check that out. So blade length is just about two and a half inches right there, which is half an inch less. And then the handle, let's take the handle from this point over here, the furthest or widest points. And it's been shortened to three and a half inches. So that's a full half inch down, both on the blade and the handle, which is pretty darn awesome. And in my opinion, lives up to the stubby mod name. So mini Quaken stubby mod. Also, one more thing I want to share is that the person who designed this for Boca is actually Lucas Burnley. So this is technically my very first Lucas Burnley design knife that I own. Yep, and I'm liking it so far. And that's about it, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. If you like the content that I'm putting out, do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, make sure that you hit the notification button so you'll be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page. I'll put a link up here to the Patreon page if you are interested. And if you do check it out and eventually become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance. It really, really means a lot to me. Any support is much appreciated. As always, everyone, links in the description box down below. Once again, this was MJL Blade Works. 
Matt Lawson, Matthew Lawson on Instagram with some custom work and right now see the overall length of the Mini Quaken Stubby Stubby Mini Quaken I should say is about the same length as a Kiba which is super super pocketable and that is it so I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life and until then everyone Gaga Boost